Hey guys, uh, I'm using my wife's car real quick to go take some packages to the post office. Sorry, this vehicle is a little bit noisy. I'm trying to work harder so I can buy her a better vehicle. But um, anyways, I got a couple packages I got to drop off from the post office. This is for an Etsy order. And um, I've been getting, you know, a little bit more frequent Etsy orders lately. But sometimes I go a long time without getting any. I'm trying to do everything I can to break away from my day job. Things have gotten a little bit worse at my day job or I'm not as happy there. And so I'm really trying to do what I can. And I finally did get approved to become a seller on Amazon. I finally listed some items just last night and everything was approved and went online this morning so part of that process I wasn't sure what I had to do and do it the right way but I um, I was trying to add myself like when it said brand name and everything it said manufacturer I put Mike stickers when it said brand name you know I put Mike stickers but then it went through this whole thing of having to have some like a barcode type number. I didn't know how all that works. I got confused by it. But basically I said, you know, that I am my own brand name. And um, then it had to go through some process where I had to get approved to be a brand name that's approved on Amazon. So it was a whole nother process of basically getting a license to have my brand name shown up on Amazon. And so it actually all went through and that happened. So now I've got three items listed. They're all continuous roll labels. I'm not sure how to do a custom listing where someone can just order like a custom quantity of a die cut sticker of, of a certain size and then upload the image to me and all that. I haven't figured out all that, but that'll be the next step. But anyways, I'm trying to figure it all out. If anyone knows more about it, maybe hit me up and let me know because I'm trying to figure out if I can list other people's items like like if I go and buy a whole bunch of stuff wholesale or um, from like a warehouse or you know what I mean if I get like if I import something I'm underneath the office supplies product uh, uh, category you know office supplies category and I think that's just whatever I selected when I signed up because I was trying to select labels to, to list my own labels. So I don't know if that's really the proper category, but that's what I'm listed under now. And so um, if any of y'all know anything more about it, let me know. And um, I'm trying to figure out if I could like underneath that office supplies category, if I can like import certain products from overseas, overseas for real good prices and then sell them for a markup and make money like that also and have that be another little revenue stream. So let me know because I want to maximize the Amazon revenue, try to maximize that as much as I can. And uh, anyways, I got some more orders I got to do when I get back to the office. Um, but right now I'm just going to run to the post office, drop off these couple of orders. One of these orders is for die cut stickers and then the other order is for some continuous roll labels. But uh, anyways, heading there now. And then when I get back, I'm going to finish up some other orders that I have that I just got on Friday. So I'm balancing, trying to balance time between family and doing the sticker business and also, you know, starting new stuff like the Amazon and doing the YouTube videos. So it's always, you know, I'm burning the candle at not just both ends, but like four or five different ends. All right, back in the neighborhood now. So the, the idea with the... Amazon page to be able to start selling on Amazon is To help get away from the day job. I feel like if I can start selling enough, you know units on Amazon Combined with the orders from Etsy combined with the orders that I'm getting locally I feel like it might really start to be enough that I can separate from the day job So the day job is getting more and more hostile And it's just not the place that I want to be. It's not good for mental health or any of that sort of stuff so i'm trying to do what i can you know um i might try to start doing maybe some subscriptions on the youtube channel or something so that i can offer more benefits to people that that want to pay for membership 
and you know I, I almost hate to do that but i'm trying to get as much revenue uh, stream as i can and if there's any of y'all that are willing to pay for mem memberships for maybe you know extended access to my knowledge skills expertise and all that then um it might be able to help me out to be able to leave the day job so that might be something that i do i'm i'm considering it but anyways um yeah the amazon thing is exciting i think that if i can think of enough different items that i can list on there that are already pre-made ready to go then it might really start to pick up the custom order stuff where you put like i have on etsy where people can send me a design of their own and order their own you know quantity and size and all that whatever they want to specify and on etsy i don't think i've ever gotten any of those people people want to be hand fed they want to be given something specific when i have something like my business card stickers and it's more defined and it's like hey look this is what i'm offering you this exact size and shape now you just upload your own design that seems to work out better so that might work for the labels where i say look this is a one and a half inch label and no matter what that's the size this is the material and all you get to choose is the design that might be more um i don't know appealing to people but for some reason people sometimes when you give them too many options they don't know what to do i guess because if you let them say, hey, it's any shape you want, any size you want, any design you want, they don't, they don't seem to respond as well. So I don't know, just thinking about all that and trying to figure out the psyche of, of my customers and how, that, uh, how to best trigger them to make a sale. You know, so if any of y'all have ideas when it comes to any of that stuff, let me know. But I'm... Uh, I definitely have some some pre-made designs that I can put up there. I never want to really put anything up there that's politically affiliated or anything like that because I'm not trying to isolate or uh, what am I trying to say? You know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to I don't know. I don't I don't want to narrow down my customer base. So, um I'm not a graphic designer, so pre-made stuff for me is a little difficult, but I might be able to find some designs I can use. But anyways, just thinking about stuff, brainstorming, trying to figure out how to expand the business some more, pick up some more business. I, I want to drive the label business some more because that's something that is, uh, is very profitable. And I just really want to get more and more customers doing the label business. I've had some of y'all reach out to me and say, hey, how can we get more customers that want to pay for labels? And I don't, ha I don't have the best answer because I don't have a whole lot of customers doing that yet. I I'm not, I don't feel that that's a successful, strong part of my business yet. I make a lot more die cut stickers than I do of the labels. But when I get the label orders, they're quick and easy and um, very profitable. So I want to try to figure out a way to drive that business some more. So if I can think of other ideas that I can share with you all, I certainly will. And certainly don't hesitate to reach out to me for questions. Um, I will answer and help out with what I have knowledge on. If I don't feel that I have anything to bring to the table, I'm not going to offer up something just for the sake of, of replying you know i want to have something really something valuable to offer to y'all if i don't have expertise on something and i don't know what i'm talking about i don't want to offer that up so i have had someone get mad at me before because i couldn't remember how to do something and um you know sorry but i'm not perfect and i don't always remember stuff but anyways i'm about to be back home so i get working again so anyways again thanks for watching please like share and subscribe